time for nice Sunday afternoon Bible store. My name is Chesley, and this is Karen. That's right, Chesley. We are glad to be here for our Sunday afternoon Bible story. Oh, it's going to be a good one. I preach, preached on this today. Yes, our pastor preached on this today, and I thought this would be a really good story just for today. I think it would fit in very perfectly. <laughs> and, you and you're just going because you don't have to study. What do you mean I don't have to study? You're just going to see what the Pastor Thomas said. No, Chesley, the Lord gave me another thought. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use probably something that he said, and that's okay. And yeah, because it's in God's Word, and I know where it is. It's from John chapter 5 and 1 through 17. Oh, that's right. You've got it, Chesley. That's exactly where this story is, it's very good. And it's not just a story, it's a real deal. That's right, Chesley, it's the real deal. This is a miracle that the Lord did, and, and he did a whole bunch of them. Do you know how many? No, in fact, the Bible says we don't really even know how many. And he just did so many because he loved and he cared. That's right, he loved and he cared for the people. He was always reaching out. And you know something? Well, I know why. Well, I know some things. What are you talking about? Well, I didn't sing the theme song. Well, let's get the theme song sung here. This gospel train is chugging at the train, chugging at the train, it's chugging at the train. This gospel train is chugging at the train, chugging to the glory land. And Chesley, who can go to the glory land? Is it just certain people, certain age group, or is it just, you know, is it, what, is it really restrictive? It's just, you got to love the Lord and serve Him, and it doesn't matter who you are, where you are. That's right, no matter who you are, where you are, just love the Lord and, and do what He wants you to do. This is all of His Word. That's right, He and in His Bible, the Word of God tells us what to do, how to do. So it's just like a, a road map, and so and that way you don't miss it. That's it. We don't miss it. We just follow those instructions. You know, so, and so, and, and so, uh, and, and, I tell you, and they go to him, uh, go to see Jesus, yes I am, yes I am, yes I am. Go to see Jesus, yes I am, up in the glory land. All right, so we are going to get on board this gospel train. Get on board this gospel train, yes you can, yes you can. Get on board this gospel train, yes you can, yes you can. All right, so that's what we want everybody to do. Love the Lord and serve Him with all their heart, their soul, their mind, their spirit. Just love Him completely, and He will guide and direct. Now, Chesley, let's get to our story. Now, yes, there was this man, and he had been sick for 38 years. Well, we don't know if he might have been sick even longer, but for 38 years he had been here, and the place was known as Bethesda. It was a place where there was compassion shown there. And it was, In fact, I think the word even means that. It was, it was being compassionate and that's where people would come it was many people in there and, and so and so that's where you go well well Chesley what the thing was was that an angel would come down you never knew when they would come or how many times a year maybe they would come and they would trouble the waters and when they did and what did they do then to scare people or going to jump in like a I don't know, a splash pad? No, Jesse, it wasn't a splash pad. It wasn't anything like that. But the people, it, what would happen when the first one that got in, they were healed. Oh, and, and then he's up there in, in, that, in that place. That they did. Well, Chesley, uh, there was many people there. And in fact, it seemed to be quite large. But this man had been there for 38 long years. But was he the longest one? Chesley, I don't know, but I know this. That's a long, long time. And this man... He couldn't get down to the water because he, see, he had you, whoever got in first, and he couldn't walk. Oh, well, he needs somebody to help him. I think he needs to call 911. Well, Chesley, I don't think they had. I know they didn't have 911. But he was desperate. He needed help. Well, Jesus came. Oh, that's the answer. It's going to be Jesus. Well, Chesley, you know, what well, Jesus came to him. Oh, and of all the people. Well, Chesley, like our pastor said today, we don't know how many uh, Jesus may have healed besides this one man that had the need here, that I mean, they all had need, but here was this man. I mean, he needed it worse than anyone else because he, he can't get down there. He's been there a long time. I think he's the longest guy there. Well, Chesley, he may have been the longest guy there. I think everybody knew him. Well, I'm sure probably people that what came there regularly recognized him. Well, he's been here. How long has he been here? And they found out he'd been there for almost 40 years. Almost 40 long years. Well, Chesley, he had a need, but he couldn't get there. But Jesus... You know what he did? He went to the people because they couldn't come. He, Chesley, people came to him or if they couldn't get to him. He would go to them and I don't know why he did it because of his compassion. It was that compassion, that love, the care, the kindness he felt toward others. He just could identify with them. And so, and he, you know, he could do something to it because he was a son of God. That's right. 
he could do something about it. He was the son of God. And I think that's what he wanted them to see, that he could help them. He wanted people to know that he was the son of God, and that he could help them, could meet their needs. And he, he was the, their, their redeemer. He, yes, he was their redeemer. He was the one that could save them and help them with all of their needs. And so he came to this man and he said, would would you like would you like to be well? <laughs> and, and, and this guy said, "Yes, sir." Uh, Chesley, he didn't. He didn't. Did he say no? No, he didn't say no. What he did was that what I there was only only way to get in to get healed was to get in the water first. And so he just said the reason he couldn't get in. And then he said, "What Jesus asked him? Well, I know Jesus asked him, uh, "Do you would you like to be healed?" And so the answer is yes. But Chesley, he was thinking there was only one way to get in the water. He only knew one way. All he had ever seen, he apparently, he didn't know Jesus. Well, that's what he was going to say. He apparently didn't know Jesus. Maybe had never heard of him. So he just knew the only way you could get healed that he knew of here was that when the angel troubled the water. You dare get down there that if you can't, then you don't get your healing. That's right. You, do, you couldn't get your healing. You could not get there first. But you know what? Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Chesley, you took the words right out of my mouth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And you know, we work together quite well. You pull the strings. Oh, okay, yes, Chesley, that is correct. But Chesley, he did not realize what was going to fix him to happen next. And Jesus said, ask him a question. Do you, you want to be healed? And, and he said, I can't get there. Well, that, that was his answer, essentially. I can't get there. And Jesus said, pick up your bed and walk. Oh, my. what a shocker. He couldn't walk. He hadn't walked in 38 years. And Jesus said that to him. And you know what he did? Do you know what he did? Well, I think he said, I can't do it. No, Chesley. The Bible said he picked up his bed and walked. He got well immediately. Oh, no. How did he know he was going? Why did he even try it? Why did he try it? You know what, Chesley? I really think that Jesus spoke with such authority. That he said, pick up your bed and walk. And I think, before he even thought he jumped it, how that might have been it. Before he even thought about it, he just did what Jesus said. And that's the right thing to do. Do what Jesus says to do when he says it. Don't lollygag slough around. Don't lollygag slough around. That's it, Chesley. He just did it. What do you think happened to all the other people? Oh, I think he was so excited. And they said, look, 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 look at it. I think they were saying, why, he's been here for 38 years. He's been here for 38 years. And what is he going to do now? He doesn't have a job. But now he can go get a job. But look at this. This is a miracle that has happened. He knew that one was so excited. Oh, not everybody was excited. Here was this miraculous healing that Jesus had done on the Sabbath day. And it was like a church day. That was like the church day. And their thinking was of some of these people was that the Pharisees said, Would you have to be uh, in church? You should have been in the temple. That was their church. Be there on Sunday. And you shouldn't be doing any work. He you know, accused him of working. He was healing someone. He was doing the work of his heavenly father. Oh, and they came to him, to this man, after he had been healed, and Jesus had gone ahead and left. And I would have thought, I just said, I'm going to tag along after you. I don't know if he wanted to tag along or what, but I know this. People were probably saying, let me see, let me see. That is him. How are you walking? How did this happen? And he said, well, this man came by, and, and he, did, he didn't know it was Jesus. He didn't know. He didn't know it was Jesus. He didn't know him. And so when people, when the Pharisees began to ask him, what, 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 what about all this? Instead of being excited and happy, and, and they, you know, they want to know who did this. Who did this? And he, he said, I, I, I don't know his name. And they said, well, because it was a Sabbath day. It was, he had done wrong. It was just a horrible thing. And, and he said, but he, the one that healed me is the one told me, pick up. He said, he healed me. Told me, pick up my bed and walk. I'm healed. And it was this man. I don't know who he is, but Jesus found him. No, oh, Jesus found him. And he thought, tell him, don't you worry about what those guys said. Uh, you just enjoy your healing. Jesus was so happy that he could see this man and talk to him. And this man, he said to him, he wanted to keep do the right, keep, he wanted him to go to church, live for the Lord, do the right thing, and not go back and live in sin is the way the scripture indicated he had been doing some wrong things. He, he, and now he had his strength. And, and those other guys, they was happy. No, they weren't happy. You know, Chesley, not everybody is happy about the things that God does. Here's what, when he, they, they confronted Jesus and they found him. They confronted him and they was talking to him about he should not have done this on the Sabbath day. And, and what did he say? 
uh, did, did he say he was scared? No, he didn't say he was scared. He said, well, my father. No, it's God. That's right. God is his father. He said, well, he, he works on the Sabbath day. And so he said, so I do what my dad does. That's right. He does what his father does. He said, my father, God, he heals on the Sabbath day. I just said, he works. They said, you shouldn't be doing any kind of work. He said, my father works, and so I do too. He works on the Sabbath, and I do too. <laughs> no, whenever there's a need, God is near. Whenever there is a need. Yes, Jesus was there to minister and meet the needs. He didn't wait until a certain time that these people wanted to do. You know, he just followed his father, what his heavenly father had told him. So, Chesley, what did you learn from this story? Yeah, I learned this, that God cares, and there's more than one day. There's more than one way, and that is what we're, we're talking about today. Our the title was Healing Jesus' Way. You know, he had many ways. <laughs> he did all kinds of different things, didn't he? Uh, did he, uh, he did some, uh, is it something kind of crazy? Some of the things he might have said to a person to do it didn't seem to make sense, like the, the, the people that were were lepers uh, there was 10 lepers and he told them uh, that uh, said go and you and and present yourself to the priest and show him that you're well in the he, 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 he did is even well well they wasn't well at the time but you know what they did what jesus said and they was well. so he had all kinds of different ways sometimes he touched people he just did all kinds of things so it's healing jesus way because he is the way the truth and the life he is that's right chesley he's the way the truth and the life oh what a wonderful savior may we just and think of he's our savior he's a healer he's a friend no oh, he's always there he isn't closed he is never closed he's never said closed for business today it's not like that anytime when is he sleep Never sleeps. It's just no. I wish I did like him. Oh, just you know, Chelsea. It is time for you to go to bed. <laughs> oh, I knew I shouldn't even send any gainty than I did. No, Chelsea. I already knew it was time for you to go to bed. So, Chelsea, we do want to go over this right quick. Just to know that Jesus is the way. He has many ways to heal. He has many ways to do anything he wants to do. He sees a need, and, and so you 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 can't say he's going to do it this way, or you can't outguess it. You cannot outguess him. You just love the Lord and serve Him and please Him. And you read God's Word and go to church. That's right. Read God's Word, go to church, and get your lessons, you know, the adherence, all those kind of wonderful things, and go to bed. Oh, I knew this coming. Oh, well, Chesley, you need to go to bed. So tell everybody good bye, at goodbye, and you'll see them next Sunday afternoon, the Lord willing. I'll see you next Sunday afternoon. And uh, uh, is there a chance I could get to stay it longer next time? Well, Chesley, I don't think we could do that. We, you know, we have other things to do today, and you are stalling around. So everybody, Chesley, we'll be back next Sunday, the Lord willing. We love you. We appreciate you. And be sure and share this video. And we're going to put it on the Facebook and know that we're there. We're going to put it on YouTube and Rumble. Yes, we'll be uploading that to YouTube and Rumble here in just a little while. So that's one of the reasons you need to go to bed. And you know something? I got another idea. I don't know what just this idea. You could teach me how to do that. No, Chessie, I don't think I can teach you to upload that kind of thing. Plus, you think I'm going to splinters? No, I don't think you'll get splinters in anything. But I do think you need to go to bed, and you're doing a stall job. Everybody, Chessie will be back next Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed. See you, kids! I love you! Oh, yeah, you got to get your flirting in. Okay, Chelsea, so next week we'll be back. Lord willing.